Hello and welcome to a YouTube tutorial on how to click on the notification bell. Because somehow YouTube thinks this will work. In order to use the notification bell, you must click on the subscribe button to which the notification bell will appear and you can click on it to make sure you will be instantly notified when the channel you just subscribed to uploads a new video. That should be it, right? Well, not quite. Whenever you do click on the notification bell, be sure to check your notification options because they totally exist. If you want to watch all of the videos from your favorite channel, be sure to have the All option clicked. You could also click on Occasional or even None. But why would you do that to begin with if you just subscribed to them in the first place? And if this isn't tedious enough, you should also check on your notification settings in your YouTube settings page. There you can make sure whether or not you wish to have emailed notifications, a bell notification on the YouTube page, or both. And if you've done all of this but you're still not seeing any of your favorite channel's videos in your notifications, then try this process over and over again because clearly it's not YouTube's fault, right? asking you guys, hey, can you see my videos? Well, around that time, I sent an email to YouTube asking if there was anything they could suggest uh, to help with my situation, like why can't my audience see any of my videos? To which, uh, they sent me this lovely video that I just wanted to share in uh, this video just to have some fun together because they, they seriously think you and me are just stupid. Let's read. So first I sent them this email. How is it I'm getting more subscribers every day, but I'm losing views? How is that even possible? I'm doing everything you and Full Screen have asked me to do. I've used several keywords, shared on social media, interacting with my audience, and try keeping my videos shorter to try and match my audience's watch time algorithm. And lots of fans have been messaging me saying they, that they haven't gotten any of my notifications on my videos in a long while and believed I actually quit YouTube. What's going on? Can my audience see my videos or not? To which then they asked for my URL and took a look at my channel and came up with this. Hey Robin, thanks for sending your channel URL. I understand you are concerned if your subscribers are seeing your videos because it seems that you are losing your views. Well, at least I acknowledge that. Firstly, the key thing to note here is that users oftentimes forget to opt in to receive all your channel notifications. See instructions here. Yeah, there is like a series of instructions on how to properly Click on the notification bell, and it is a joke. You should see the comment section and the like-dislike ratio because it's like, really? You have to talk to us in s such a way for this glorious new system that isn't working in these little tutorials. And just, just take a look at these. Some of you aren't getting notifications from a channel you're subscribed to. Others want notifications from your Chrome browser or to your email. And some aren't receiving notifications at all anywhere. You need to have subscribed to a channel in order to turn on notifications. If you've subscribed to a channel but aren't receiving notifications, it may be because the channel's notification settings are off. When you visit the channel, click the bell next to the subscribe button. If you don't want to miss any notifications, make sure you have all checked in the window. Excuse me, why? And like I said in my, you know, earlier tutorial at the beginning of this video, and here, why have those options for all, occasional, and none. It's like you step into a restaurant and the waiter is like, Good evening, surrender, madam. Uh, here at this restaurant, you can either have uh, all of the items here on this uh, menu, uh, you could have some of the items, or just have nothing at all. To which you just sit there and go, Yeah, that sounds about right. I'll just sit here starving and have none of it. What? Like, why click subscribe? Click on the notification bell and click none. Like, what's even the point in that? It's almost like they wanted that option to be in there just so like if for some of you who don't even know about any of these complicated notification settings that like you have to go through these steps to make sure that you're, that you are being notified that we're making videos that you click on the bell and just leave it off with that. But maybe when you click on the bell, the first option that they decided to have you set for was having none of my videos being accessible for you guys. So you have to like make sure every time you click on the notification bell that you click on all and that you check on notification settings in your YouTube settings 
that you are getting the bell notification or not. So it's like personally for my notifications, I have the bell notification because getting constant emails was a bit annoying for me. It seems unnecessary, but the, the bell notification works for me. And for mobile, mobile devices, I just cut that out because I was getting text beyond text beyond text and I'm like, okay, enough. Because it was not only just telling me, hey, uh, this person uploaded a video, but it's also giving me notification as to every single one of your comments. So my, my uh, text message fee was skyrocketing because of that notification setting, so I just cut it out on my mobile device. But the desktop notification works. So you have to make sure that you go to your notification settings and make sure that you have the desktop notification working or your email notification, whatever notification system that works for you, you have to make sure that it's on. And it just seems so, ugh, it just seems so pointless. Subscribe, notify, that should be simple, but no, you have to go through leaps and bounds just to make sure that you're being notified when us or any of your other favorite YouTubers are making videos. How does that make any sense? Secondly, let's take a look at the following YouTube analytics traffic source data from your channel. You can see that the percentage of traffic from notifications in the last 90 days and the last 365 days are actually comprised of approximately 1% of your watch time. Based on this analysis, I would not lean towards the assumption that a decrease in views is affected by subscriber notifications. In addition, I'd like to emphasize here that percentage of traffic genera generated for notifications is at 1% only. There's a general misconception amongst our partners and creators that subscriber notifications play a key role in traffic generation, but in fact, it's only a mere contribution to our overall viewership. So how else are, are people supposed to see our videos? if? The notifications is only a minuscule contribution as to, you know, when our audience can see our videos. Like, what else do we have to do to get noticed? What What is it that we have to do if, like, if, like, let, let me just continue reading. Moreover, I can see that your views and watch time fluctuate. It's generally normal. We know that view counts are extremely important to you, so we work hard to ensure that they're accurate. Views can fluctuate daily as traffic behavior changes as we update a video's view count. To verify that views are real, we may temporarily slow down, freeze, or adjust the view count, as well as discard low-quality playbacks. This can cause a video's view count to fluctuate as we verify that the views are accurate. Your views and watch time is doing great because users find your videos from suggestions appearing alongside or after other videos. I hope this addresses your concerns. Let me know if you have additional questions. To which, like, yeah, I know that the majority of my audience is seeing my videos through the, the suggestion feed. Like whatever video they're watching, for some reason, boom, there's my video, and you t and they'll go to that. But it still doesn't answer my question as to why am I nearly at 500,000 subscribers? My subscription feed is still climbing, but I'm nearly at half a million subscribers, but not that many people are seeing my videos. And that was like mainly the issue I was trying to address, but... They're, they're replying saying that I'm fine, I'm doing fine, and you should make a tutorial on, on like how to teach people how to use the, the uh, notification setting. And it's like, really? And I reply back, I really don't understand any of this. So even with all my changes and updates, I'm still only getting views through suggested videos. How is that fair for my audience and for me? If they have subscribed and clicked on the notification bell, then they should be able to see my videos. I could educate them on how to do this as much as MacPat does, but it won't matter if they can't see my videos. To which they replied, thanks for your response. I am not saying that they can only find your videos through suggested videos. However, your watch time and views mostly come from suggested videos. You get 47% watch time from suggested videos, traffic source, rather than the notifications, which is at 1% only, meaning people can still see your videos through notifications. The traffic source is not only comprised of your subscribed users, but also that there aren't subscribed. If you are pretty much concerned about your subscribers only, then only 1% of them might have opted into your bell notifications and can find your videos through that. So plus you get 28% of your views and watch time through browsing features, meaning those other subscribers may not be opted into the bell notifications, but they find it through browsing such as traffic from the homepage, home screen, and the subscription feed, and the browsing features includes both signed in and signed out users. As previously mentioned, all your views cover notifications, but that's not the case. It is a mere contribution to your overall viewership. 
Lastly, the views on your channel are fluctuating, which is pretty normal. Keep doing what you are doing. If you are pretty much concerned about your subscribers not getting your notifications, make sure that all 400,000 subscribers are opted into the bell notifications, create a tutorial so existing and new viewers will be notified. Overall, your channel is doing very well. Hope this clarifies your concerns. Believe me, it doesn't. I was just confused as how like my subscriber count keeps climbing, so people are subscribing to my channel, hoping to see my videos, but they're not seeing my videos. And they're saying like, oh, it's common for views to fluctuate. And I'm like, but ever since the algorithm system like changed significantly back in 2016, I haven't been able to recover. Like a lot of these people aren't able to see my videos. And it's all like, oh, like, well, you have to click subscribe and the notification bell. And now they're telling me, it's like, well, you know, it's not necessarily a, you know, a 100% contribution because it's only a 1% factor in your, in your thing. But, like, people are finding your videos through the suggestion fees and the, uh, the browser fees. And it's all like, well, yeah, but to the people who do subscribe and click on the notification bell, what do I say to them? Like, just click your heels three times and say there's no place like Anime America? Like, seriously, they want me to make a tutorial to educate you guys on how to, like, click on the notification bell because YouTube thinks you're an idiot. And they're dancing their way around the problem, not trying to help me help you guys, but just give me these generic, this generic information that I already know about but also, like th throughout this, I, I was like, I was like discovering so much more about like this notification problem and how complicated it is with the settings and clicking all occasional or none. But also, there was even like an option that I'm actually worried about in the event settings of my YouTube videos were like I had to click on it to make sure people see my videos. To which, uh, Fam Strider. Josh, thank you so much for you know, your time. Uh, he and I have been chatting recently on our newest project. Stay tuned to that. But he, uh, pretty, he was pretty much like trying to reassure me. He's like, well, that's something that's automatically clicked on. So when I upload future videos, because I'm paranoid, I'm going to go to the advanced settings and make sure that it is clicked from now on. Because like, if it was clicked there or not, I want to be sure. Because I want you guys to see my videos. You subscribe to me for a reason. And I want to make sure that you guys see my videos. So I thought I'd share that funny little email as well as this very informative tutorial for you guys. Seriously, what's YouTube doing? So let me know what you think of this whole debacle. Like, what's your opinion on YouTube's current state of affairs and what you think of this whole notification bells uh, situation? Just leave your comments down below. Tell us how you feel about this. Coming up next, uh, we're starting the month of love with our reviews of Shimonetta, Love is Like a Cocktail, Kaichiwa Mitsuma, Revolutionary Girl Utena. I'm gonna do a video essay, hopefully if I have time, just discussing the ramifications of our husband knows and waifu, so that'll be interesting. As well as our next top 10 list will be top 10 same-sex couples, so... Let us know how you feel about the month of love also in the comment section down below. If you want... That's ten romances! And possibly if we have time, Sumi wants to do top ten bromances because we can't forget about our awesome bros. Yay! What about sisters? Who? So if you want to keep us supporting us, be sure to share your favorite videos that you like from us on any social media platform where you choose. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and sure, Tumblr, yeah. We also have some brand new t-shirts available on Teespring, so click on the link down below. Check, these, check out these awesome t-shirts if you want them. Click on the link down below. We also have some posters available on our Story and Beast site. And if you want to support us through Patreon, we got numerous rewards and options for you to choose from. Um, you can also have an opportunity to have us review a show of your choice. So click on the links down below if you want to support Anime America. Thank you all so much from the bottom of our hearts. We're gonna keep going, keep thriving, no matter what YouTube does to us, no matter what kind of useless advice they give us. We're gonna keep going and do our best to keep this channel alive and create more awesome videos for you guys. Thank you all so much for your time. More awesome videos will be on the way, so stay tuned to Anime America. Bye. Alright. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello.